y'all what's up welcome or welcome back to another motherfucking hair video my name is adrian if you're new and if you're not new welcome back so today we are being sponsored by yolissa hair they sent us over a beautiful bust down curly i think this is a closure i'm not really sure all the details will be linked in the description box down below but per usual you know we have to get into the goodies that they sent us this is the unit right here straight out of the box well not straight off the box i did wash it but this is the unit in its natural curl pattern just air dried um these are the insides it comes with two combs one in the front or center and then one in the back center and we're just gonna go ahead and throw on this wig cap child it's really not that deep this wig made it super simple to install all i used was a little foundation as y'all can see right here applied that to the wig cap and I made sure to get that color all over the cap because this lace is super transparent, y'all. It's super transparent. You can see straight through this wig. I love it. I love it. And I just threw that mug on my head. As you can see, you can see straight through this unit. Like, that's my forehead. I'm surprised myself. Can you tell I'm surprised? I'm very surprised. There really truly wasn't much work that needed to be done to this hair. So I'm just going to give y'all a little, I guess, detail on this unit. First and foremost, let's get into the lace. The lace, super thin, super transparent. This is a very high quality lace. I can appreciate this wig for the lace alone, but the hair texture, the hair texture is gorgeous. It's so pretty, like, and once again, super simple to install right here if you're wondering why i'm raw dogging the freaking hot comb it's because i just wanted to see how smooth it could get without my wax stick um but eventually i did end up deciding to go with the wax stick just because i wanted it to stay down and this curl texture actually really does curl up really tight so yeah i went ahead and hot combed it with a wax stick so that the waves didn't come Speaking of curls and waves, this hair is so curly, it's so pretty, and it really did not shed as much as typical curly hair would. But what amazed me so much about this hair is how light it was. I know it's winter outside, and I know we're not really worried about our hair being heavy and getting super hot and just knotting up in the back. But y'all, when I tell you this wig did not feel like it looks it was literally so light on my head. I almost forgot I had a wig on, like, and that's for real. At this point, the install is basically complete. I promise you, I was only recording for like 20 minutes at this point. Um, and I decided my head looks weird. I know if y'all have been here for a while, y'all know. I, I just can't. Sometimes I can do no baby hairs, but some wigs, my head just be looking big. And this is one of them wigs. So I decided to go ahead and add my signature little two swoop baby hair and it came out so so pretty once again going in with that hot comb y'all are gonna see me going with this hot comb a lot just because the curls are so big and so unpredictable that you just don't know where you're gonna need to hot comb so i just went ahead and eventually hot combed the entire top of these uh of this wig <laughs>
If you are new to the baby hair world and you're trying to figure out how the girls get nice, soft, fluffy baby hairs, but they still look late, they use a holding spray. So that's exactly what I'm using right here. I think mine is like mega hold or something like that. The key to get in the perfect baby hairs is you have to get the hairs a little uh, moist. You have to get them a little damp, but don't make them super wet to where like they're soaking wet. I hope that makes sense. Just get, just just do a little spray on the brush. Don't spray it on the hair. Let the hair dry and then go in and start to mold your baby hairs. Okay, so just get them a little damp, <laughs> let it dry, and then go in and start to mold them. Then and only then is when you can go ahead and actually spray the holding spray onto the baby hairs. Before that, do not do it. It's gonna make them super uncontrollable or they're gonna look like really stuck to your head. And those aren't the vibes. Those aren't the vibes. I just want to reinforce in y'all's mind that nothing is holding this wig down except my thoughts. Anyway, now we're gonna go in and define the curls with a little mousse. This is the Aunt Jackie's mousse. I love this stuff. It's really lightweight, but it still does a really good job at defining your curls, giving it a pretty shine. Like, look at that. So cute, so cute. Even though it's wet, it's still gonna dry really pretty. And then the curls are gonna get super big. Like, ooh, just wait, just wait, just wait. And this is the final look. Look at this, y'all. Like, like, just look at me. When I tell you this wig is taking it. It is stealing the shine. I just want to say thank you once again to Yo Lisa Hair for sponsoring this video and helping your girl pay her bills. But also, also sending me this wig. <laughs> once again, not laid down. Nothing but thoughts holding it on my head. I was definitely feeling myself. But anyway, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next one.